Hi, Brad Silverlining Daydream, super host on Airbnb. Today we're renting our home on Airbnb. We thought this would be a great time to give you a tour of our home and show you how we stage our home when we rent on Airbnb. We thought this would be a great time to upload this Airbnb tips for hosts staging your home for guests video because we have remodeled some of the rooms in our home and also because it's been two years since we uploaded our last Airbnb home tour video. Some part, that's our city. Let's move in. If you come all the way through to the back door, we'll go right outside. I think we'll start this way. So they're not allowed to use the pool during a rental. It's a legal requirement with zoning in the city. So we're required by law to put in a swimming sign down. So this group reached out to us to rebook. We agreed to keep the price the same as this gives us peace of mind. The reason we can charge a little over $6,000 for this 11 day booking is because there's a worldwide event taking place this week in our community. Water pumping there, you leave a light out for them. There's a clock up there. Our municipality here only allows up to 30 short term rental days per year and they must be out of your primary residence. This is when the host is not on site. When the host is on site during the stay, they allow unlimited nights to short-term rent. So we can have up to eight guests. There's a nightly price for six, and then there's extra for guest six and guest seven. This is bedroom number four. Whoop. It's locked. It's called the garden room. So we'll go in through the other side go back in here's our camper we're gonna be camping and staying in there comfortably while we rent our home so yeah we remodeled this there's videos of all the remodeling on our channel so I'm not gonna make this a big commercial but this is a by the way this is our family room full-size bed here and then we did have a trendle bed but we bought this uh, blow up type bed well actually you plug it in and then the air goes into it and then there's a portable air conditioner there but yeah it's called the garden room that's why Robin's nest in there. So I'm going to try to go around without getting you dizzy. So there's directions on the air mattress, Phoenix, some bottled water, diffuser, and then these flip up and down. something right on there okay so we have a basement door down there there's laundry facilities they do have access this closet is locked there's some personal items in there so I'm just going to show you here's the half bath so here's the half bath it's a small bathroom by the back door I don't know if you can really see this. And then we've got soap in there for them. Let's see if we can get a light on it here, see if this helps. Well, it's like a tri-level here, a smaller Brady Bunch house. So coming up in the living room here, Michelle still has some of her items here, so on the floor here, I think some of those will be gone, obviously. I'm just gonna back up so you can kind of see the vibe. You'll notice we have very few photos of us and our family on the walls and we try to have some local pictures on the walls because people are coming into our community wanting local. So this is our living room. I'm just going to walk across it. Normally we'll have wood in there. We've got a wood burning stove. So they're not allowed to use the wood burning stove. Usually we just rent in the spring. 
summer and they're early fall, so nobody's really using wood in here anyhow. But they can use the fireplace in the family room, so. I'm back, my back is in the kitchen, so there's a couple nice chairs. That's our RV again we're gonna stay in. Okay, moving into the dining and kitchen area. We're supposed to have a fire extinguisher, which is there. But uh, yeah, let's see if we can give you the view here. So we have linens that are special just for Airbnb out. And uh, yeah, we redid our kitchen over there. We put in counters. Well, actually we paid someone to put the counters in, but we painted the cabinets. So we've got videos on all that. But uh, yeah, fruit bowl there. And uh, we'll walk in. Countertops are granite. pan across we have a coffee nook here lots of different things they can use to make their coffee or tea I'm gonna show you what it looks like we just stopped buying groceries before we rent our house this is an 11 day rental so we just kind of wean from groceries in the last couple days we eat out and but we're making enough money in this rental that it does make it just doable to eat out so I'll show you the pantry so Michelle cleaned that out. So here's the pantry. Grilling supplies. You gotta clean the house, but you know you gotta clean your house anyhow. So let's see here. I think what we'll do is just come in from the angle here and you can see how empty it is. It's a winter project. I'd like to redo these doors. So we'll go up to the bedroom area now. Kind of see here, so we'll go upstairs. Straight ahead is the master bedroom. All three of these upstairs bedrooms have queen beds with multiple types of pillows. That way guests can find out what pillow works best for them, hopefully. In all four of the bedrooms, on each side of the bed is an outlet, cube or power strip, a lamp, and some sort of a surface for their phone, drink, or whatever. There's a ceiling fan up there. Come back here. There's the bathroom. It's really hard to video. So this is on the to-do list to remodel this half shower here. So it's getting kind of beat up down there. Because we've decluttered much of our clothes and purged many of the items out of our home, it's become a whole lot easier to ready our house for Airbnb guests. All right, we're leaving the master bedroom here. That's locked. And then this other closet here should be locked. I think there's just some linens in this other one here, but uh, Let's go back out. So here's the bathroom I remodeled about a year and a half ago. We're required to put a mat in the tub. All right, here's the third bedroom. We also have Wi-Fi passwords framed and spread throughout the house. And there's just a closet over there with mirrors on it, so we'll head back out. Here's the fourth bedroom. We provide guests with white bedding and white towels because that way guests can see whether or not they are clean. Personally, when we stay at an Airbnb, 
White linens are a must or we will not book. And there you have it. There's a tour of our Airbnb all staged. And thanks for watching. Subscribe for more. And if you give our videos a like and share our videos, it helps us to be found. Thanks again.